long time no see I wanted to um, stop by and show you guys how I have been taking care of my orchids so I have a few here this one's really big um, I've had this for quite a few months but um, I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of it as soon as you purchase it from the store because there's a difference of how they display it at the store and how you actually take care of it from my experience so let's go ahead and get started all right, so here are the couple of orchids that I'm going to um, be showing you guys um, the process of how I have been taking care of it. So this is my oldest orchid uh, right here. I believe this one was February. So let me turn her around. So I have had this one since February. And some, some of it has wilted like this one but I don't I don't snap it off I just wait until it naturally falls off and then um, this huge one right here which is really really tall I have had this since uh, Mother's Day it is now August I believe it's like August 3rd today so I'm gonna talk about that and then it came into this really nice decorative container I'm gonna show you guys how why this is not working out for me and then this one is my second um, oldest. I believe I got this one April. And all the flowers actually had um, dropped off. And I thought it was done for the season. But it went ahead and bloomed one more. Look at that. Okay. So let me show you guys um, the process of when I first receive it. Which is this, this one right here. It's going to be kind of hard for me to show you. Because I am outside. Because I... I really want um, some good lighting so when you buy an orchid it usually comes in something like this um, I bought this over at Costco for right before Mother's Day or I'm sorry not I my husband bought it with my kids so each one of them each of my kids had given me an orchid and it came into this nice centerpiece it's really nicely decorated but I don't recommend keeping it where um, it's at of how it is and I'm going to show you guys at the bottom see how it's nice but because the thing is even though they say like okay this is how we have it displayed because the moss really works out for us it really keeps in the moisture and all that stuff it's really hard to see what's going on inside that container if you do not remove it so this one I have removed I'm going to show you guys um, the process that I did with this one so this one I removed okay so it did also come into a nice container not like this one something similar um, it also had the the moss and all that stuff but <clears throat> I took it out and I happened to have had all these um, pots that I kept outside but because our weather here in the Pacific Northwest it gets extremely cold during the winter it began to crack so I took it um, it was outside so I cleaned it um, there's nothing really there except for some rocks because every one of your orchids will come like this okay it will come like this one so it, it will come in a very small um, plastic container if you really want to take care of your orchids you really got to see what's going on in there so with me when I purchased this one it didn't have it barely had just one hole at the bottom and I noticed it barely had one hole at the bottom and then I noticed that my orchid was staying um, too moist to because if you if it happens to get too moist too wet it will all the leaves will start falling out and it will die out because it likes it to be nice and dry so what I did was I cut some little slits in here throughout the the side making sure that you don't you don't cut into the orchid itself because this is part of the orchid but you got some moss in there you see how I I cut that and now the orchid is trying to come out to breathe okay and you will want um, I decided to do this and then also cut a little bit at the bottom get some you know get some um, drainage in there so that's what you want to do is just drainage okay got that and so let me show you guys um, the process of what I did so it's gonna be messy so you take everything out you take the moss part out so 
I had about four of these during Mother's Day when um, the kids each got me an orchid. So I have about maybe, I think, 10 or 11 orchids in my home. This one I did not um, remove because I did want to make a video with you guys, but I I've been pretty busy so I have been prolonging this video but this is what I did within like the first um, few weeks that I got the orchid so you just take out all the moss and again you want to do this outside or your kitchen sink with um, like a paper bag or plastic uh, plastic bag because it does make a lot of mess the reason that I would recommend, you don't have to do this of course, but this is just how I feel like I have been successful with my orchid. Second time around, um, I got orchids like maybe 10 years ago and it lasted about two and a half years. And then I thought I actually killed it, but actually I did not. So that was a learning process for me. So this one is a different kind of um, foliage. Um, I don't believe it's tropical. But the reason that I don't want to keep it decorate, nicely decorated like that is because you never see what's going on underneath all these moss. And as you guys can see, even though I watered it as um, per instruction for my orchid, it's pretty dry here for this particular one. So um, I'm just going to get all this dead stuff out and start cleaning it up and um, rescue this poor plant. Oh. Oh, there you go there that one's really nice so now it's nice and clean um, now I can really take good care of this particular plant from now um, like right now I'm just gonna go ahead and mist it at the bottom what the soil is so as you guys can see it's going in there Actually, while I'm out, I'm going to go ahead and um, really go ahead and show you guys how just water that like a regular plant. Because this is not an orchid. It's just another plant that they added in there. Because if they had put another orchid, then of course it will cost more. Okay, so I got that out. And then, if you guys notice, this one has styrofoam in here. This is the actual orchid right here. And then all this is, see my arm, all this is is just a nice decorative container for it. But as beautiful as it is, you don't really know what's going on in there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, take that out, and I'm done with this. I don't want to keep it into that particular um, container. Okay. So now, with this one, you can tell that this one is, it's yellow, it's got, it's like, it's got cuts in there. So this one is not doing well at all, but that's fine. You don't need to, you can still salvage it. It's actually in pretty good condition because of the fact that you can see all these green, um, stiff, hard leaves. And that's how you can tell that you still have a healthy, healthy plant, okay? But I don't like the fact that the only drainage in here is this one little hole at the bottom. So I'm going to get a scissor and cut some slits around here, being careful not to go through like, I call them like the vein, and making sure that I'm just doing a little slit um, so that water can come out. Because you don't want, you don't want the, the base of the, the orchid to be soaking um, wet or too much moisture. So I went ahead and got a pair of scissors and then I just started cutting around the sides and being careful not to cut where, like I said, I called this the vein. I don't know what that's actually called but that's what I'm calling it um, for this video purpose. And there's one right here. So that if I, if I overwater it or once I water it, especially if I give it a nice, um, nice bath when I say nice bath is I'm just gonna pour about maybe a cup of water into here and let it drain out don't do not put it into the pot let it drain out for a few hours making sure that all the the water has um, soaked under then at least all the water would come out through the sides and then the bottom I'm trying to be careful with this plant but the bottom I went ahead and cut some slits as well if you guys can see that see how it's all open okay so then, once I do all that, 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice If you guys are going to do the ice cube method, um, for this particular size of plant, it is pretty big. I would recommend about maybe four ice cubes, put it on top, and then that is enough water for a whole week. Now, there are people that have done it to where they put this underneath the sink, put like a good water bath in there, meaning like so much water is forced to go in, and then um, let it drain out. I have tried that and actually... I uh, have killed one of my orchids before by doing that so I don't recommend that it actually just uses very little water and once you water it it's good for about a week I think the problem that we have with orchids is just that we over want to work it and they just want to be left alone so that is a good bath for it right now for a whole week so I'm gonna put that um actually this is too big for this particular plant so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it off with with this one the one that I showed you guys so they can switch and then I'm gonna use this one okay I think I had gotten this pot over at Ikea so this is a perfect size for it actually and if you can see that it wobbles if if you think that it wobbles a little bit this is what these rocks are are good for these are just um rocks i think i purchased them over at michael's i want to say michael's or joann's you can um to balance it out you can put them on the side like that so that it has a more stable um container so i think that one's a little bit too big but i'm gonna go ahead and um put like that one okay and i think that's actually a perfect container for it so here's my orchid and now it's in a nice container I'm able to see what's going on if I tend to overwater it I can feel right here you should be able like when you put your finger underneath here you should be able to feel it um, not too dry but not moist at all somewhat into the middle like how I have it here this is perfect right here okay and that's it friends that's how I take care of my um my orchids like this particular orchid the one right here this particular orchid just um, came like this so I did not have to repot it because I feel like this is a good size um, pot for this particular orchid look at this one the blooms on this one are gorgeous and like I said I've had this since February I've lost a couple of blooms but you know what it's still blooming and it is now August 3rd so what they did with this one is instead of the moss they put some little um, like I don't know they, they look like little wood chips to me and it's fairly dry in there not not wet at all so I know that it needs its weekly um, weekly bath so all I do for this particular one is just spray so see how I'm like kind of over spraying at the bottom and then that's plenty that is just enough for the whole week the orchids actually like the 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 foliage being misted like this it creates like a tropical um, environment for them now if you can't spray it like this if you don't want to spray it like this you can get like a water like a shallow water and then put some rocks that will create like a like a mist effect to it as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how I have been taking care of my orchids they are gorgeous I love them and they are and they are throughout my home as always, friends, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo! Before I let you go, I wanted to show you guys the orchids that I have throughout my home. So I have two orchids here. Um, one, the one that I said that I've had probably maybe March, around March or April time frame. So I have that display there. And then the light is very bad in here because it's dark on this area and the light is just um, coming through that window. But if I give it a minute, usually it, um, it shows. So this is my living room and this is where I have um, three orchids, the purple and the white. So I wanted to um, put the group in here because this one has purple and white, that's white. And then this is a whole purple. This one I had gotten at Costco not not me my um my kids had given it to me they had gotten it at costco and um but i had went ahead and re 
repotted it within like a week excuse my hand I'm painting but this one I'm putting a couple of ice cubes in there and then I didn't miss it um, those are like other options that I also do if I don't do like the nice water bath for them I'll put three or four ice cubes and then it just gives a slow release of, um, of water okay so that one and then then I repainted my mantle right here so I made it a deeper white and then I went ahead and rearranged or shopped my home um, per se because I didn't buy new things but I just took stuff um, from different parts of my home and then put them into the mantle and then this is where I have um, two of my orchids here is a nice yellow one and then here is a um, exotic one so let me go ahead and show you up close here's the exotic one it's a yellow and burgundy so if you guys can see the different um, different part of the um, other orchid is like it has a nice wide um, leaf and then these are like smaller ones and then also the difference is the the base so this one has this part right here like the crown part so I also put some ice cubes in there and not a water bath okay so over here it's a nice like yellow like a yellow red and that is the same um, the same family as the white and the purple uh, my kids also gave me this there was a lot more um, petals that came off of this one than the white and the purple one and then for this one I also gave it um, ice cube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how I have been taking care of them. I feel like this one is like really the healthiest one, the white and the, the purple. It's just um, consistency of just staying with uh, with the flowers and it's I've had it since Mother's Day. Like I said, it is now like August 3rd or something. Alright friends, mahalo!